What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Now today I said I was going to have something a little bit different. I do have something a little bit different for you guys. Playing Master League in pairs. Now Master League is basically the uh, career mode of pairs compared to FIFA. And it is actually quite fun. Now there are a couple of ways that you can go about actually playing, uh, playing Master League. The first, that's not a foul ref. That is not a fail. The first is you just do it like you normally would in um, in a career mode where you go take over the team in the uh, well with the current players that they actually have, like I have done here. Got Napoli um, just due to the fact that the Serie A is fully licensed in this game, as far as I'm aware, uh, and the Premier League wasn't. So I thought I'd go for a, a team that had all the proper players rather than a team that was just made up of a whole lot of generic players. But back to the point that I was just saying, there are a couple of ways that you can go and play Master League. You can do it the way that I'm playing now at the moment, or there is another option where you can go and play basically as all generic players, and you go and build yourself up from uh, another side. And I think in the earlier pieces, like on PS2 and stuff like that, I think that was the only option that you had. I think you had to start with those generic players, and you had to go and work your way up, which was quite cool, um, just for something a little bit different, but... Wow, please. Oh my god, I'm down one nil already. I'm not even playing on that hard of difficulty. Not even playing on that hard of difficulty. But I thought I'd do this because my FIFA career mode series, it's basically not going too well. It is fun, but it just doesn't seem to be getting the support um, and the likes that I'm really after. So I thought I'd go mix it up, try a bit of pairs, see how that goes. Because as I said, I always did enjoy playing it. Uh, me and my mate went through like 10 seasons in like a weekend at, at one point. So... Um, you know, we we did really like it. I don't know what it is about it. It just seemed to be a lot of fun, um, and it just seemed it it did seem to be a lot funner than career mode. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. A lot of people will probably disagree and say, look, FIFA career mode is still probably the best uh, career out there. But this is just something a little bit different, and I think that's what I needed because I have been playing FIFA for a lot over the past couple of years. Like I haven't played played pairs in quite a long time. I think it was about uh, 2013 that I last actually played PES. I didn't play the 2014 game uh, because it was just on the old generation consoles. But this uh, PES 2015 obviously coming to both. Oh, Hamsik just gets taken down. But this does, it seems like it is going to be a lot of fun. The series seems to be going um, pretty well. The games are all even. Don't ref a card, really? Uh, I don't know, and as I said, I've chosen Napoli um, just because I wanted to play in a league that had uh, all the correct teams along with the correct players, which I believe the Serie A has, looking through, um, all the big teams are there, so that is a bit of a bonus. Oh, what was that? Hamsick, don't stop running. Don't stop running, Hamsick. Um, and also Napoli. Napoli have been a team that I've liked. Um, you know, for a wee while now, and I think it's just due to the fact um, of Hamsik, and Hamsik is probably one of my favourite players, started uh, really liking him uh, probably during the 2010 World Cup, um, just because of the way, I don't know, I, I, I guess I probably only really noticed it because he was playing in New Zealand's group, and I actually watched New Zealand group games, uh, like with quite a lot of focus and stuff especially with New Zealand getting a good couple of results, two draws uh, in their first two games. Obviously, the third one was a draw as well, but not enough uh, to go into. Sorry, take them through to the knockout stage, but... Oh, go. That is a great ball. Higuain, finish that. Ooh, I love that. I love some of the ways, like, just some of the long shots that you can get in pairs are pretty cool. Um, stuff like that, you know, you get the through ball that goes through, and you can just pop it into the back of net like an absolute rocket. And that is what I like to see. I really like... In football games, I really like being able to score, you know, goals that you can go and just tap in. But then I also like being able to score goals like that, you know, the ones that you can really go and really just rock it into the top uh, top corners of the net. So 1-1 one, one here against, I think we're taking on uh, Calgary, I think it is. I'm not too sure. I'm not a big follower of Serie A, but I do... That's just because Serie A isn't on New Zealand TV. But I do enjoy... I enjoy the league because the league is, uh, well, it, 
I would say it's probably, well, it used to be, I don't know about now, but it used to be probably one of the most even leagues going around in Europe. Like, there were a lot of teams that you could pick to go and take the title or finish in, like, the top three or four, you know. There's the, obviously the Milan clubs, Juventus are the big ones, but then there's Napoli as well. Lazio are always there and thereabouts. So it is a pretty good league in all. And we have finished up here 1-1 at half time. It's looking pretty cool. I must say we did actually play a, well I didn't play, I simulated a warm up game against uh, Man City and we won that 3-0. So we definitely have the squad um, to go and get up there. We've also got Insinue on the bench as well. But it's, it's really hard to go and try and fit him in to the side as well when you already have a front four that consists of Callahan, Hamsik, Higuain, and Merton. So there's another there's another one of those rocket shots that I was talking about. Oh Hamsick, you gotta put those away, son. You gotta put those away. But in this game, Callahan, he is rated really highly. Like I think he is rated um in I think he's in the high eighties actually. Um he's like one of one of our best players, so come on, I wanna score another cool long range goal. Ooh, like that. See look at that. That is an absolute cracking hit from Inla and it actually almost goes and sneaks in to the back of the net. But that's what I like to see. I really like to be able to go and score those big rocket shots that you get. And I think the team that we've got here is probably a good team to go and score those types of goals. Hamsik um, is a good long shot player. Uh, and then you've got Mertens as well. Mertens has had a really good season. And I think he's, I think him and Napoli are kind of a side that are a little bit underrated. Like they are a good side, a good team. Oh, that's too heavy, I think. Oh, I still got the shot away. Probably should have gone and tried to drag it back. But they're a side that's quite underrated. I mean, when you look at a side that has the players and the quality of Callahan, Insinue, Hamsik, um, Higuain, their defence probably isn't the best. Um, and maybe their defensive midfielders, like that's an area that they can go and work on. Um, but it is still, they're still a very good side. And I think they're a little bit underrated as well. Um, and I think that's why I like them a little bit as well. Bit of the, bit of the underdog and they got a bit of that underdog fight uh, in them as well. So it'll be interesting to see how this Master League career actually goes. I'll play it through. Go Hamsik. Oh, I touch. I took a touch too many. Oh, great save by the keeper. The keepers in this game... Sometimes, like, they're really inconsistent. Like, sometimes they'll go and they'll be absolutely shocking from some of their misses that they get. And then other times they will just be, like, oh, incredible. They brought on Sal. He is a, he is a freaking FIFA. He's that guy who's really quick. He's got a lot of speed. I don't know what he'll be like in this game. But, um, yeah, I was considering, you know how I spoke about earlier in the episode, I was considering about going and maybe starting the side from nothing. Um and just having all those generic players in there. But then I thought, nah, you know what, I'll go for the actual ones, and it will hopefully be quite cool. Get the headway and get there, get there, get there, get there. <sighs> but I could potentially go, and if we get a fair bit of support for this, I could potentially go and look at doing that for a another series. Maybe starting off with another side, maybe like in the, uh, well, maybe not in the English League, but maybe like a, I don't know, maybe like a Barcelona B or a Real Madrid B, you know, one of their B sides, try and get them up into the top division um, or something like that. As I said, I would do the English, but just because they don't have the licensing on that and they don't have the right team names and I don't really have the time or can really be bothered going around and changing them all. Oh, heavy touch from Higuain. I must say, this is really enjoyable. Like, it's it's uh, it's it's challenging. Oh, go Hamsik. Oh, my Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We've got 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And the cool thing is, you can actually set um, your half lengths to uh, quite low amounts as well. Like, I'm playing 8-minute halves because I don't really want the games to go on for too long. But you can set them uh, anywhere, I think, from... No, sorry. The, you can set the game length, so not the half length. Um, but you can... Oh, that's a bad pass. That is a really bad pass. Um, you can set the, the game length to, like, the lowest, I think, five minutes. Oh, that will do. Bit of luck. Higuain, you're so slow. You are so slow. I think I might need to put on Insinue um, just for a bit of speed. But where do I put him, though? I can't. I really can't afford to play a front five, especially considering how weak... Uh, well, not weak, but my back four is not the strongest. And we just can't seem to quite break down this defense. Oh, see, we're so close. We've got those through balls going through. 
they're just not quite getting there, just not quite getting to the destination required. Oh, I thought that was through for Callahan. I thought he was going to be in on goal. Name in the limelights. Oh my god, keeper! That is an outstanding save. That should have been the game right there from Hamsik. But what a save. What a save from the keeper. How good are keepers in this game? They are incredible. That's a shocking cross. I still haven't quite managed to uh, to fully work out how crosses work in this game. We finished with a 1-1 draw away from home. Not too bad of a start, I must say, for the first game of the season, but not ideal. We would have preferred to go and walk away with a win. As I said, we are probably up towards that top four. That's going to be the aim for the season to go and get there. Their goalkeeper picking up man of the match. No surprises there. He was outstanding. Made three or four really good saves. But anyway, guys, if you do like this series, remember, leave a thumbs up. If you are new, please do subscribe. Down below in the comments, leave me some comments of players on Pez who I should sign, who I should sign for this Napoli side. I do have a fair bit of money, so uh, no one is really an issue, but do let me know. As I said, guys, Thumbs up if you like this series, subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch you tomorrow.